everybody. My name is Jody Jordan and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this is my card class to go for, um, let's see, the dates are September 11th through the 24th. Um, if you're not familiar with my card class to go, it is, um, I, I, I make card kits for you based on my sales. So if you make a $35 purchase, you receive the card kit. If you make a $50 purchase, you will receive the card kit. And this month I'm giving the adhesive back glitter sequence. Um, the card kits consist of six cards, three different designs. So you get two of each, each one of these designs that I'm going to demonstrate today. And the bundle that I'm focusing on mainly is, uh, the very cute bundle. And yes, I did break I went ahead and got the the punch. I know I said I wasn't going to, but the more I created with it, I was like, yeah, it would be easier if I had it. So I, I did get it. Um, for the first card, we're going to use um, the Stylish Shapes and um, the Nested Essentials. I just want to take a second to show you the paper we're going to use. For all three of these cards, we're going to use this paper. And this is the... Merry Christmas. I know I showed you guys um, when I did my pre-order, but again, I didn't have the punch, so this punch is going to cut out this bear, this bear, um, this one, um, and let's see, on other sheets, so this is the other side. I just, this is my favorite bundle and paper of the whole catalog. Um, as far as the cutesiness of it, I love the cutesy, um, cutesy and elegant are my two favorite things as far as stamping and, um, this set definitely has that cutesy. Look at the little, little seal. He's so cute. And I love the kind of ugly sweater type vibe this gets, gives you, um, there's lots of like, these are great scenes. These would make a, a great scene for a card. And all you would have to do is just cut this and put a sentiment in it. It'd be perfectly fine. I, I just, you know, my style is kind of quick and easy. And um, this, this has that. So we're going to make a card with this paper today. Um, look at the little paw prints. Aren't those cute? We're going to make a card with these packages today. Um, and then here's another kind of similar pattern. And then um, our other card we're going to do is with this pattern right here. So let's get started. Well, actually, I wanted to show you another paper. Um, I only have part of the, I haven't got, or no, I do have the full set. I forgot I bought some. I wanted to show you this uh, paper because this also will cut out this bear. Um, and this paper is the, let me pull it out real quick. A walk in the forest. So for every pack of paper that uh, Stampin' Up! sells for this, they're going to give away um, for each uh, area different charities. There's a long list of charities. I'm not really sure of all of them, but I do know that for every pack of paper that they um, sell of the walk in the park or walk, what was it called again? Um, a walk in the forest, they are donating $2 to charity. Stampin' Up! does that every year with something. They always give to charity. So you might consider if you're going to buy the bundle to also get this paper as well. because And it's very nice paper. I'll go through this paper as well. Um, you know, just so you, it, it's, it's a way of getting your craft supplies, but also giving back. So, um and it'll cut this bear too, so. It's, you know, it's very traditional colors um, with the blues and the greens, but I wanted to just 
mention that to you because I know I didn't know that until um, a week or so ago. I think they let us know uh, before the or when the catalog went live, they let us know. So I just want to make sure that everyone is aware. I'm always bumping my camera, but I think I didn't do too bad this time. Okay, so let me put this paper up. So everything that I will show you is exactly how it'll come in your kit. And um, that way you um, will get to see. Now it co also comes with the envelope. So the very first card will come just like this. You'll get two of these. And there's a sheet to stamp on. And then this is the inside for your card. So we can put that together. I'm going to use seal today. I'm going to use my stamp and seal. Okay. These cards are not, you know, on the, they're really easy and quick to put together. Um, I try to keep it that way because if you, you know, people are a new stamper or, you know, whatever, I want to make sure that they can um do these cards okay so first thing i want to do is i want to get i'm going to go ahead and start my stamping because i want it to dry now on my original card i did this in i want to say basic gray i stamped him um let me find it or maybe it was pebble i think it's pebble path anyway i'm going to do pebble path it's one of my I like the basic, um, like, basic colors or, like, earth tone colors, I guess. Okay. And then I want to stamp the Mary and the Christmas. And I'm doing that in Night of Navy. And I want to show you how I did that. So... If you can see, this is one whole stamp, but for me to be able to make it fit, I had to, I'm going to do Mary and then Christmas, so I'll show you. All I did was just go in here and get just the Mary inked up and then kind of line your, if you got grid paper or something. And then you want to make sure that you get your stamp really clean. And really dry. Sometimes I just stamp it off on another sheet of paper. And then you're going to do the same thing with the Christmas. Just come in from the other side. Now you can always cut your stamp if you want. I've done that before. I know um, some of my, like my one of my Halloween videos I did that. Um, it doesn't hurt your stamps to do that if, if you feel better about doing it that way. And then just try to center this up and get as far down to the bottom as I can. Oh, that's okay. Because you know what? This is Night of Navy. When I have situations like that, that's why I use these markers. Let's see, how's the... Okay. Okay, see? Can't even tell. Another reason to get those markers, if you kind of mess up a little bit. Okay, so we'll stamp our bear, or cut out our bear. I'll put them a little bit long. So, let me grab my snips. There's something glittery in my craft room. I don't know what it is. I keep finding it on everything. I think it was one of those ribbons that I 
I started um, cutting and wrapping up all my bourbon shares. So. then so for this I'm going to pop him up and then for this I'm just going to put figure out what design I want. I'm going to put these in each four corners so I think I'm going to do it like this kind of similar um, things in the corners I'm just going to make it to where there is a even border of uh, probably about an eighth of an inch on both sides. I was, I'll show you my other card, my practice card. Um, but then I got, I got, I had to, I also cut my kits for last time, um, for the la last uh, card class to go. I cut those kits to go out in the mail. I'm going to mail them out today. And um, I noticed that one of the cards was similar. So I was like, eh, I don't want to do that. Two, two card kits in a row. So I wanted to do something different. A lot of these cards, I uh, create them like during the pre-order or for, I created a lot of cards for, we had a, like kind of like a bingo challenge and um, we did it in my, or I did, so I, it, it really is a bingo challenge for us so we can win prizes, but um, like you have to. I had to complete 10 projects to get the prize. Like, well, you have to complete, I had to complete five to get the prize, but I completed 10, so I got two prizes. But um, all I was doing is just designing my cards for, you know, for stuff like this. Um, so it wasn't like, you know, anything, hard, you know, that I wasn't going to already do. So, but sometimes when I'm designing, or I'm, you know, figuring out ideas, you don't think about, you used it in something else, you know, previous. So sometimes I use um, card sketches. Um, there's a website that, I don't even remember the name of it. Someone suggested it and I, uh, bookmarked it um, online and I just go there sometimes if I need to like a card sketch. There's a few of them out there that um, do challenges. I know Split Coast Stampers does like challenges and things like that and I might start do doing a little challenge or, or something like that. It, it was kind of nice. I liked, I kind of like some of the there's one lady in my group that she always um, shows us hers, and I, I it's pretty nice. Okay, so these are, I'm going to say this is Granny Apple Green, kind of like a white silver, and then the, um, I think it's Balmy Blue. This looks like Balmy Blue, right? But um, I'm just going to put a few of these on here. I didn't get it. Okay, I'm just going to slide these over here because I know we're going to use them again. Get this out of the way. Okay, so this is the first card. This is the one that you will make. I'm sorry, I'm not in the camera. And then this is the one that I made before. Um, before I come up with this idea. So, anyways, this is the card that's in your kit. 
and you'll get this will be the one that you get your card kits for okay okay so for the second card we're going to bring in this Merry Christmas um, with the brightest glow set and we're still going to continue to use this set but we're going to use the trees and the packages so I'm going to bring in this right here and we're going to go ahead and stamp our tree in mossy meadow just the outline We're going to also stamp um, our package. And then the little package. And then we're going to bring in the old olive and we're going to stamp the greenery or the branches. Let me grab my. Now, if you have photo Palmer stamp sets and they're, especially when they're images like bigger images or fuller images, you definitely want to use a stamp mat. This is the stamp and pierce mat. It just helps you get a clearer image. I'm going to say I didn't line this up too well, but I feel like, let me see, I feel like it doesn't really line up well. I don't know, I'm going to flip it over and try again, just, okay, so let's bring in the mossy. I remember when I did my practice card, I felt like it didn't line up very well. Must be pushing too hard. Now we're going to fussy cut this, so you don't have to worry about it that happens but okay now the old olive all right let me see if I can line it up better I don't feel like it's any better but it is over a little bit farther let me see. Yeah, it's not outside like that. So we are going to fussy cut this. The bottom really doesn't matter because you're not really going to see too much of it. And then we're going to fuzz. Well, I guess we can color these first. So I did this in real red. And I believe I brought in, because the paper has that blue, I'm going to bring in the balmy blue. So 
red and balmy blue. I'm not big on like trying to shade it and do all that fancy stuff, but um, I'll do a little bit. But Seems like my marker's dried out, which is weird because unless this is my old one, I think this is my old one. Let's see if this end works better. I'm not one to do a lot of shading. I mean, it's, I think my original one, I tried to put polka dots on it and I didn't like it. So I just went back and with a solid color, but you are welcome to do whatever you, you know, however creative you want to be with this, you can. This is a really cute card though, um, I haven't even showed you how it's going to go together. We're going to use um, vellum, or not vellum, um, acetate and we're going to be able to see through the card. I wanted to get all this done first so it could dry and Now I bet a one of those um I might try that because now that I'm thinking about the polka polka dots, I tried to use a marker and I bet if I use one of those jelly roll pens that it would be really cute. Polka dots. The problem with using another alcohol marker is these are made to blend. So that could be why it looks so weird. We'll try it. Okay, so this one I'm not doing too much. Let's see, shading because I don't want to. See, this is a light to start. I'll do a little bit and see. But I'm going to use the small bullet end because these little squares are so tiny. I still keep saying I want to do the, like a class to learn more about coloring, but I've been so busy with the wedding and everything. This would have been cute if you would have, if I would have embossed it too. That would have been really cute. Okay, so since this is a card for you guys and not for like a challenge, because in a challenge... Um, for my team, I couldn't use this because it's all, we can only use Stampin' Up! products, but um, the jelly and the jelly roll is not a Stampin' Up! product.
Yeah, this is pretty cute. I love these little pens. Sometimes Michaels have them. Um, buy one, get one. Half off, I think. I don't think we ever get anything buy one, get one anymore. Um, but I haven't been in there in a long, long time. I used to go in there all the time. And it's, it's funny to say this, but I live on the south part of my town. And the Michaels is on the north part of town. And it's such a chore with traffic to get there, which is funny because I really don't live in like some big city or anything. I literally live in a small town, but it's so it to me it's not worth going over there. Plus, I pretty I don't know. I I guess I go over there more during like craft fair season to buy stuff to make like briefs and stuff. But I do have a Hobby Lobby right by me, so I tend to go to the Hobby Lobby versus the, you know, there. So we're going to cut these out. Actually. I need to change the blade in my trimmer. I think I'm still going to end up trimming it. like little fuzzies on my edges. I think I'm going to try and get a little bit closer just because I know it's a package. That's good enough. And this one, I'm just going to cut really close as well. This is why I don't do a lot of coloring videos because I feel like they take so much time and people don't sit and watch. Now, sometimes I know people will sit and watch if it's like a live video, which after the first of the year, I'm going to start doing some lives um it's just right now with everything that's going on I pre-record these videos sometimes in the middle of the night when everyone else in my house is asleep um it's just easier for me to do it that way okay so now we got So I want to show you guys that this is how your card is going to come, just like this. But you're going to slip it in your trimmer, and you're going to measure from your crease here, one inch. You're going to put this in the one inch. Line it up with the one inch. Oh no. Let me, let me double check for sure. But it, it's not one inch, it's one and a quarter, I believe. Where's my I got a little measuring stick somewhere? This is my, what I call my measuring stick. It is one and a quarter. I'm almost positive, but I want to make sure. Yes. So one and a quarter. You're gonna stick your trimmer or stick this in your trimmer at one and a quarter and slice. Then you're gonna cut one and a quarter from the bottom size you can use this for something else okay 
Then you're going to come in and you're going to adhere, or you're going to adhere your packages to your um, acetate, and you want to do that first, but you, and you want it to be like an eighth of an inch all the way around. So that's why I'm going to use my. If you can't see it, lay it on here to get an idea. Um, to kind of get it lined up. And then just put your adhesive on. Now you only kind of get one shot at this, so you gotta kind of Same thing for the bottom. I have to go with it because once it sticks, it's stuck. So mine's going to be a little crooked, but that's okay. So then you're going to flip it over and you're going to bring in that piece that you, um, that you cut off, but you're going to put the adhesive on just the spot, you know, on the acetate, but only on where you can't see it. Here, and bring it and put it in flush with the acetate. Now you're going to do the same thing with the top with your adhesive, only behind the DSP. Then you're going to flip it. And then up here where you had your, you're just going to line it up. Now, if you're off a little bit, like I feel like this, um, my acetate's off a little bit. That's okay. You can make it, it's hard to cut acetate. The, um, I cut it on my, I don't cut it with my regular trimmer. I cut it with my big cutter. But if it does that, it's fine. It's fine. So now you have it. like that. So now you're going to lay this like you would normally put your piece in there. You're going to get a pencil and then you're going to close your window but you're going to mark. Put a little mark right there and right there. Then you're going to do your stamping and your stamping is going to stay to the right in real red. And I thought I got out. Oh, here it is. It's not, not on one of my regular blocks. I had to, I ordered some more blocks. I was starting to use more than I had. So, so now you want to stamp in between these two lines, but to the right. Then you're going to erase your lines, but you want to use a white eraser. You don't want to use like a red one like this. It'll mark up your paper. Close the ink. Now we can do adhesive. Then 
And you're going to put it in the middle like normal. Okay. Then you're going to put adhesive just at the top and just at the bottom. So just at the very tip. It's probably best if you have a silicone mat because then you don't have to worry about it sticking to your table. You just want enough just to get the very tip and the very bottom. Now, actually, hmm, I didn't think about this. Okay. Well, I'll, mine's going to have the double stamping on there, but you just put your tree like that. And then you pop up your, your gifts at the bottom. Um, yeah, the both figure this out because the the bows at the top so okay so for mine it's not looking when you open it it looks kind of weird but um what you could do is you could put something here if if you you know if you wanted if that bugs you um, this is my original card and see there I should have backed that up because I put Wink of Stella on there to make it and I put what happened was a blob of it came out and it was way too much so it just drenched the whole thing but you could also um, cut uh, green like glue this to like green or um, the only thing is, is when you open it it's going to be upside down but honestly people are not probably going to pay attention they're going to set the card up just like that on their mantle or wherever they're not going to care about that being there but it some people that will bug them so um, you know anyways this is card two Um, if you want, you can put some of these sparkle gems. I think they would look cool on the tree, so let me see what I do with my, take your pick. So let's get ready for three. Okay, so card number three, this is how it'll come. You only you'll get two. Um, I'm bringing in the banner, the second to largest banner here, and the basic border die. We're gonna do a little hillside for the bears to walk on. And so I've already got that cut. This is exactly how your kit will come. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and adhere the layers. This is such a cute set. I've seen so many, like this stamp set is going to, this seems short. Why is it so short? Okay, this is not the right size. Let me, I bet what I did was I grabbed the wrong one. Yeah, I grabbed the wrong one. Um, I've seen so many demonstrators do really cute things with this um, set. So I 
bought a whole bunch of this paper because I know this is was my like the, my favorite cutesy set so I know that the majority of my Christmas cards are probably be done with this um, then I'm just gonna layer this one chose warm wishes from the set and we're just going to do that I'm going to bring out my my mat I just feel better with the mat being there and I'm using the Knight of Navy Our bear. Um, I just want to. I just want to try something real quick. See what it looks like. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so let me stamp the big bear. Did I not get it out? I guess I didn't get it out. Um, I seen another demonstrator do it in the navy blue instead of black and in my practice card I was thinking that the black did kind of stand out so I wanted to try the blue and it you know you can't always tell on camera if it's gonna look nice but I think it looked pretty good so I'm going with it okay and then on my practice card, I didn't do, um, I have not stamped this yet, so let me just, I'm just practicing, Let's see, so it's navy blue, okay, I can go with that, I like navy blue. And it looks kind of dark, but it, it'll lighten up. Okay, so let me punch him out. And I'm just going to lay him down on here just so I can get placement for the little guy. stamp this either. I just want to see what this looks like. Okay, I'm going to do this in To his hat and balmy blue. Mm, probably should have went in the darker. I don't love that. Okay, we're flipping it over. We're not doing a hat on him. What else is in the thing? Let's see. I guess if you stamp the hat, then you're going to have to do the hat first and mask it, but, hmm, let me see something. I'm just curious if it covers them up 
when you do the dark. See, this is what you guys don't see is me trying to figure things out sometimes. Um, I think I'm just going to flip this over and not do a hat with him because I'm not loving it. So I'm going to put him on there out of the way and then I'm going to bring in the balmy blue the dark I'm just going to give him a little stripe on his scarf I will do his hat, but I'm going to do it in the navy blue because I like the navy blue. There's just some makes it even cuter when he has on the hat. And the thing is, is if I color it with the blue, then you won't see his headline. I'm going to pop him up on dimensionals. Um, first, I'm going to grab just a little bit of a... Actually, I'm not because I did that before and I messed it up. I'm not going to do it. I was going to give him a ground to walk on, but in reality, they're, they're in the snow. That's what they should have gave us, some little paw prints. That would have been a cute... Thing in the set. Um, what did I do with my dimensionals? Oh, here there. That would have been real cute in the set if they would have gave us some like little paw prints to put on the ground. But since it's snow, I'm not going to worry about that he's just walk it like it doesn't that he's walking on air. I guess. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to also pop this up. pop this up as well. Or the let's see what I do with my take your pick tool. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the silver again on these just because the balmy blue I have so much on there, and I feel like if I do the silver, it'll kind of stand out a little bit. 
Uh, I think I'm going to do one here. Maybe. Um, one here. And one down here. Kind of like in a triangle. So this is card three. Three already. And I'm going to show you my um, practice card so you can see the difference. So here is no hat and here with the scarf and the hat. So um, here I try to do some shading a little bit just kind of and I did it. I colored this or I stamped this in black with the navy blue and here I did the blue with the navy or the navy and the navy. So um, you can do your card however you want. Thanks. Bye-bye.